How to Train Your Dragon 2 is the sequel to the movie How to Train Your Dragon, duh. And it's a pretty awesome animated movie. I really like the first one. The first one I saw it way back when it came out in theaters. I was like in elementary school. Wow, how long has it been? It's been a long time, and I really like that movie. And I really wanted to see this one for a while, so I watched it on Netflix. It's on Netflix. And wow, this is a great animated movie. I loved it. Now, once again, stars the. It's like takes place in this Viking age with our dragons. In the first movie, there were like a feud between the Vikings and dragons. They hate each other, and like then they kind of made up. And now the Vikings ride the dragons like their cars and stuff, and they're pretty awesome companions. I love seeing these guys. And the kid Hiccup, he's the chief's son, and he's like has his girlfriend Astrid, and like they go on an adventure because they find this new land, and then this new dragon conqueror named Grago is there, and he's gonna take over everything with the dragons. And it's a really good movie. Like, the, like I'll just say this: the animation and the CGI and everything used in this. Wow, it's really good. Like, this is really some of the best looking animation I've seen in an animated movie. Like, it looks so good that there are some moments where I like, that's actually CGI. Wow, that looks almost real. Like, actually, real life real. I'll say that. Yeah, it was pretty good, and the characters are still really likable from the first movie, which I don't really remember that well, but I remember liking them. I don't care. Hiccup is awesome. He's a great kid. You know, you really root for him and everything he stands for, and the other characters are pretty awesome, too. I don't remember all their names, but they were awesome, too. I love seeing the dragons. Like, I would love to ride a dragon, and you would, too, and if you, you, you know, you, you say you don't want to ride a dragon, you're, you're lying. You're just lying. I know you're lying, because everyone, <laughs> dragons are awesome. And eventually, you know, stuff goes down, and it actually gets pretty emotional, like, halfway through the movie. Like, there's just one moment, or, or several moments, rather, where it was really emotional. It got really deep. Like, I didn't expect it to go this deep for an animated movie. Not that animated movies can't go deep, but in, like, recent memory, there haven't been a lot that go as deep emotionally as this one. And I applaud it for that, you know, it had really likable characters and it really explored emotions and went deep rather than going with cheap fart jokes and just being little yellow things that say ba na na da la la. I don't hate this before me, I like the first movie, I haven't seen the second one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do like those guys though. But yeah, this, you know, it's humorous also, but it doesn't, you know, resort to cheap slaps and stuff. It's clever humor and it works really well as well. Yeah. <laughs> Nice job, me. You said that. There are but two problems I have with this movie. Number one, the villain, eh, he kind of seems generic. But, you know, he has a motive. He's not one of those, I'm just going to be a bad guy because. But at the same time, there's not a whole lot of personality given to him and whatever. And two, the movie felt too short. I wanted it to go on longer. I wanted it to be longer. And I know, you know, a lot of kids, they probably don't have a long attention span. That's why a lot of these movies aren't that long. And, you know, it's an hour 47 minutes, I believe, which is... A little longer than usual for these anime movies, but I, I still wanted to go on. I liked it so much. Like, everything about this movie is likable. It's so well animated. The characters are awesome. The, the soundtrack, oh, it's so good. And the emotion, it really hit hard. This is honestly one of the best anime movies I've seen in recent memory. I haven't seen all of them. Like, I didn't see the Lego movie or Big Hero 6 from last year. I should probably get on that eventually. But yeah, I like this movie. I'm going to say this. I liked How to Train Your Dragon 2 more than I liked Frozen. It's my opinion, people. <laughs> that was terrible. Like, you know those... I, my humor is beyond comprehension. The point is, this was a great movie. And I love it. I'm giving it a 93%. It was so good. I recommend you check it out if you have a Netflix or you like animated movies. And, you know, if you're a fan of those, like, really old picture movies like Toy Stories and all those that really wish for another movie like that, this one is the one to do. You should check out the first one also. I haven't seen that one in a long time. Regardless, it's a great movie. And, uh, Dio's Home Slices. Um. How do I make my outro? Uh, you can make an exit. Um, okay. Note to self, work on exit.